The Toronto Maple Leafs kept up their winning streak last night in Detroit. Minute games for Giordano. Martyr in! Scores! Mitch Martyr! And it there is the hottest player in hockey, I guess. Mitchell Marner with a goal in the second to extend his point streak to 17. That's a league best this season. The Leafs picked up the 4-2 win over the Red Wings. Austin Matthews, Erasmus Sandin also scored and had a helper each. Nylander scored one as well. Leafs have now won four in a row, all four on the road. And they return home tomorrow night to host the Sharks. And Marner's now just one game away from tying the club record of 18 straight games at the point. Let's bring in TSN Radio's Matt Cause for a look at the streak and Marner's impact on the team and the rest. Good morning, Wizard of Cause. Good morning, sir. All right, so let's start with uh, Mitch Marner flexing his muscle. This guy, I've always thought he seems to understand the geometry of the ice really well because he's not the most, you know, the fastest guy, the toughest guy, but he gets places before the puck does. Yeah, absolutely, he does. I love the, the, you using the word, uh, the geometry of it, because it shows how smart he is. It's always about reading angles and, use, as you said, knowing where the other players are going to be. And what's impressed me the most about Marner, it's not just the goals, it's not just the assists, but also defensively. Like, if you go back to the Saturday game against, uh, against Pittsburgh, he had this crazy forecheck on Latang that set up the, the, Holmberg, uh, the Holmberg goal. I think I just mispronounced his name. All right, moving on to live TV. But what's been most impressive about Marner is it's every phase. It's helping the players out around him, setting mm -hmm. players up, the full scoring, but also defensively. The work he's doing on the penalty kill, this has been Mitch Marner's best season, and he's been an all-star the last several years. And, you know, you talk about D. I mean, there was that whole thing that was being floated preseason with Mitch Marner maybe playing some shifts on defense. And right now, they're so decimated, right, with three of their top four defensemen out, most recently uh, Morgan Riley. I mean, maybe he won't yeah. play defense, but... You know, considering what they've got to work with right now on, on the blue line, not bad this last four or five games. It's, it's been incredible. If you didn't have jersey names or numbers and you didn't know who players were on the ice, you would assume the Maple Leafs were fully healthy defensively. <laughs> They're not allowing many goals. They're not putting Matt Murray or Samson off or Shulgren or whoever. They're not putting the goalies in tough positions. They are allowing so few high-danger shots by their opponents. And that's a credit to Sheldon Keith, to the defense, but also the forwards, like Mitch Marner, like Tavares, like Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews might not be scoring as many even-strength goals, but he's been incredible defensively. And then, you know, it's helping guys like Matt Murray, where we thought the goalie uh, position would be trouble for Toronto. And Georgia really hasn't been, especially during this remarkable run by the team in the month of November. Yeah, even when both 1A and 1B, Marner, or, uh, yeah. Murray and uh, Samsonov are both out. But you've got Samsonov being the third guy out right now because Shalgren, the second-year guy, is playing so well. Um, you know, at, at some point, they are going to have to talk about maybe acquiring a defenseman. You know, someone's going to have to be a trade chip. Is it Robertson? Is it Samsonov? Who, who, who might be in that conversation? Well well, I think it's really being Nick Robertson would have to be there. He's been benched like the last six or seven games. And I'll say this about how well they're doing defensively with the young guys like Sandin and Lilligren is it's buying Kyle Dubas time. He doesn't have to go out and make a move right now. He doesn't have to rush. And as we know, when general managers and executives are rushed or feeling the pressure to make a move, usually they end up making a bad move. <laughs> but the young guys are doing well. Mark Giordano is doing well. And it just is buying time for Leafs management. Great chat. Wish we had more time. Uh, Matt Cause, the Wizard of Cause, always a pleasure. Enjoy your day. Absolutely, George, you as well, sir.